guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm doing a little organization video for you. I want to go through our guest bath and organize everything. I also am going to show you my medicine cabinet because I did the master bathroom organization video. I'll link that down below. <clears throat> Already out of breath. Look at this belly. I am now 29. 29? Oh my god, I'm almost 30 weeks pregnant. So weird. So I'll show you my medicine cabinet and the products I've been using a lot lately. I'll do that first. Sorry. My throat is so scratchy. My allergies are like insane right now. And then we're going to go in the guest bathroom, take everything out and clean it all out. I am in full nesting mode, so I want to really go through that. And I hope you guys enjoy okay. this. Okay, so let's start in the shower, actually. Let me show you some things. I'm going to step on in here that I have been using lately. Okay, fresh has my heart for skincare products right now. So today, I actually put on this first. This was at a hotel I was at by Dr. Brandt, the Oxygen Facial. It foams up, it feels amazing on your skin. So if I ever need like a little bit of a pick-me-up and my skin looks dull, I love using that, especially in the shower. It's really quick too. And then I use this scrub, the Sugar Face Polish, love that. Um, and here I have the Dr. Dennis Gross Cleansing Gel, really, really good. And then I also have the Fresh Rose Face Mask. I love keeping masks in the shower. I have one from Cosmetics. This one's like a detox. This is more of a hydrating one. And then this is more of like a brightening. In my medicine cabinet, here's what it looks like. So I'm gonna run through all this stuff. Let me turn all the products around so you can see like brands and then we'll go through it. Okay, let's start at the bottom. So on the right, I keep my cleansers and like a Mo not moisturizers, exfoliators. So we have one from Acure, I love this, really good for brightening. Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion, I love this Cora's Wild Rose Scrub. And then this is more of like an oily cleanser from Algenist, almost out of that. A couple toners here, love toners. I have the Aveda Exfoliator in a liquid form, love this at night. And then I use this during the day, the Ren um, Daily AHA Tonic. This is amazing. Seriously, guys, you need that. Uh, and then I have a couple like facial mists that I use. This one I've been using actually a lot lately from Garnier. 99% naturally derived. It's made with aloe juice. So it's a good like skincare option at the drugstore that's not full of crap. So um, yeah, I've been liking that just to like set my makeup. This is another one I like, but it doesn't spray as well. Like the mist is not very fine. Then I have my toothbrush, some toothpaste, one from Kapari, and then the Colgate one I have as well. Up here, I have all of my lotions and potions. So I have serums on the right, and then these are more like my potted moisturizers. Algenis Collagen, Ren, Radiance, I love this. This is seriously my favorite thing ever right now. I'm really into Ren right now. Uh, Glow Recipe Moisturizer, I use this as a serum. Andalou Natural Serum, Algenist Moisturizer. This is very lightweight. I tend to layer that with something else. Image, Vitamin C Serum. Love this Derma E Treatment Oil at night for a moisturizer. I have the Watermelon Matte Sleeping Mask. This is what I've been using for my eye cream. Sunday Riley Brightening Moisturizer. This is another one of my favorites. Dr. Dennis Gross. Sorry, the camera's going out of focus. Um, and then a couple from Fresh. So we have the um, Night Recovery Cream that is new. And then the Rose Face Cream. So the this section is like the best. This is my favorite ever. Up top we have my SPFs. I have my Shell and It Cosmetics. I like this one more right now because it's better ingredients. It gives you a little bit of a tint. Deodorant, this is what I use on my pimples from Just Natural. Oh, they changed the brand, Just Nutritive. Retainers, floss, this is another really good moisturizer from Savor Beauty. Probiotics, I have not taken those in a while. And Derma E Scar Gel, that's what I use on my C-section scar. And a couple essential oil roller balls. Down here on the counter, I have my Elemis Cleansing Balm, a overnight mask from Fresh. And then, ooh, I just got these perfumes. I have the Fresh Lychee. It smells so delicious and sweet. Really, really good. And then I also got this one, 
called Lice. Moving on into the guest bathroom. This is the area that needs some help today. So I pulled out all these products. These were all in our closet where I used to keep all my beauty stuff. But since the baby boy is coming soon, that closet now has to store other stuff. So this has been kind of empty, like not a ton of stuff is in here. So I just wanna like restock it and just like go through it. It just, I feel like I can fit a lot. I took all this out already, but I feel like I can just fit a ton more things in here and just be smarter with it. So that's what's in there right now. Here is what's going on in the big section. Uh, so, and then up here, we have this stuff. So I can add more things in there as well. So my first step is to pull everything out, sort it by category, and then we'll start organizing. So I'm taking everything out of all the drawers in this cupboard, throwing away things that I don't use or giving things away, putting them in my little giveaway bin, but basically just want to start with a clean slate. So this basket I keep under the sink. And I decided, sometimes I would do towels in here, but I decided to just keep it toilet paper. And then I can throw like big towels on top of it. And then you'll see soon, I'm taking just the washcloths and putting them um, on our, we have like little floating shelves above the toilet. So I'll put those there. Moving on to the medicine cabinet. Again, I'm gonna take everything out of here so I can really categorize everything and get a clear idea of what I have. Okay, let the sorting begin. So I am putting together all of our lotions, all of our oils, a lot of this stuff is the girl stuff and then kind of things that just I'm not using at the moment. So whenever I'm organizing a space, it takes me a while to get to where I'm satisfied with how everything's laid out. So I'll put things in a little container, figure out if it works. If it doesn't, I'll just kind of start over again. Here I did bubble bath and lotions and just kind of messed around with it for a while until I thought it would work. And then I decided that it wouldn't work because the bubble bath doesn't fit in this drawer. So I kind of had to start all over again. So I ended up putting all of my bath products like bath salts and bubble bath in the cupboard section just on that side. Okay, so here's what it looks like up in the medicine cabinet now. So up top, I have like balm type of things and oils. I like to put some oil in the girl's bath sometimes. It makes it just really hydrating for their skin. So I just kind of throw that in there. Um, and then I have sun products, an extra lotion that didn't fit down here. And then like kind of healing types of products. So I have tea tree oil type of things, band-aids, and then these are all like extra baby lotions. I don't know why we have so many lotions for babies. Um, and then some sun products, sunscreen, aloe vera, best aloe vera ever. You can get this on Vitacost. You can get this at like Sprouts or whatever. And then a lot of toothpaste that Burt's Bees sent. So I'm gonna give one away. These are like my little giveaway thing. Or no, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. But 
I'm gonna give this away, give that away. I have some friends coming over later, so they can look through some stuff. I'm gonna keep this down with like my, these are all like my products now down here. So this stuff's gonna go back into the master bathroom. I'll show you where that goes. And then this stuff will all be in these drawers. So down here, I'm gonna keep this as toilet paper. So I'm gonna get some more toilet paper in the garage, stuff that. And then since all of my bath products do not fit in these drawers, they're too tall, I kept them down here. So I didn't even know I had those. Like that's how bad this needed to be organized. So we have bubble bath and bath salts. And then over here are just a few cleaning supplies, bathroom cleaner, dis disinfectant spray, and then some stain remover right there. And then this little guy is going in the baby's nursery. So I have some wipes, hand sanitizer, lotion, oil. Um, this is like for, to get rid of odors, some baby balms and baby powder. So that'll go back in his room on the changing table. All right, moving on to the middle drawer. I'm putting my tanning mitts and my loving tan to our express in here. I haven't used these since being pregnant. I actually just got some really natural self tanners, so I'm excited to test those out and let you know if they work. And then just some body lotions I'm kind of just messing with and seeing how I want these to be stored. And then I decided to make the bottom drawer all of my backup hair products. I'm just kind of putting those in order of what they are essentially. Okay, so this drawer, I'm not gonna really do much. Like here, let's see. I'll put little hair ties here. Oh, this is another toothpaste, so I'll just leave that there. Uh, this, the girls who went through this, this is like for the thermometer. But, I don't know, this is just kind of like whatever drawer, just like odds and ends, little things, clips, kind of a catch-all station. So, down here, actually, I really like this. I feel like it looks a lot more minimal and now I know exactly what I have. So these are lotions and like body products. So I have my Loving Tan to our Express to those one that I'm currently using in a backup. I haven't used that since I've been pregnant though. And then on the right I have two of the Kopari. I have a coconut melt and a body scrub and then two lotions. One from Fresh and one from Cora's. This one I haven't used yet, the fresh one, but I have opened that and have started using that. And then in here I have a Cora's After Sun Lotion and a Pacifica hand cream. And then I will go through my master bathroom and see if I can put anything else in here since I do have a lot of space now in here. So I have a couple of the Aveda in Vanti products. These are amazing. If you guys have any postpartum hair loss, this is what I used and they worked so well. So I have two backups of those. I have a Carol's Daughter clay hair mask, and then these are all conditioners. I go through shampoo way faster than conditioners, so I always have like extra conditioners. So I have one from Kevin Murphy, Andalou, these are both from Andalou, and then Earth Science Aveda, this is a deep conditioning mask, and then a couple little Aveda sample, or like little travel shampoo and conditioners, so that's in there. So I'm gonna go through my master bathroom, and I'm gonna take this stuff over there, see if I can arrange stuff, and I might kind of move some body products into this room. I'm gonna take this and put it in my medicine cabinet, the Amelie Naturals toner, since it's almost gone. I'm gonna try to use this up, and then I'm gonna keep these two that were in my medicine cabinet down here. These are shampoo conditioners. I'm gonna put these in the guest bathroom. I have lotions that I'm currently using. Actually, I could take out one body lotion to use right now. So we'll use this, the Ren Firming. Oh yeah, I need Firming. I'll stick this up above the toilet. That's where I have like stuff I'm currently using. Love this George's Aloe Mister too. I might keep this up top as well. Up top is where I keep things that I'm currently 
using, I'm gonna put, this is for my eyebrows. That will go over here since it's kind of like random stuff. Eyebrow tint, and that will fit there. Okay, that looks better, so that'll go in the other room. Okay, so I took out the scrub. I'm gonna put that in the bathroom because I don't have a scrub right now. And then, so back here I have my lotions, like all, after some lotions, this is a lo lotion with SPF, got all that here, and then coconut, right there, coconut melt. And then down here, I brought a few more hair things in here, so my master isn't as cluttered with hair products that I'm not currently using. So I have another scalp treatment right now that I'm using, so I kept that one there. It's in a blue bottle, but it's still from Aveda. It's like an oil form. I love scalp treatments. My scalp is super dry. This is a backup of my damage remedy. And I have a couple backups of my dry conditioner, or um, is that what it's called? Yeah, dry conditioner and my shampoo, dry shampoo, <laughs> sorry, I can't talk. And then a few other dry shampoos. Now I just have to make sure the girls don't get into this. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me organize these bathrooms. I feel good, I'm out of breath. If you are new, make sure to subscribe. I post videos twice a week. And that is it for today. I will see you very soon, bye.